Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series uh, which is called Deck Battles. This is not an original creation of mine, this has been done before by a couple other creators, but I figured it'd be fun to do my own series and um, just see how you guys like it. I'm not taking credit for this idea, it's not mine, just to put that out there. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to be um, facing off two decks that I think you guys will enjoy. I've showcased them a few times on the channel before. And we're going to base them on three categories with a possible five points apiece for each category. So a possible 15 points that each deck can win. Number one is Tuck Box, like the artwork of the Tuck Box. Number two is the artwork on the cards, which includes both sides of the cards, so the artwork on the cards. And then number three is handling which card, which uh, deck of cards handles better. So three categories, five points possible for each category, 15 points total, whoever gets the most points wins. So let me go ahead and show you guys the decks. Also, yes, I know there's glare in my glasses. <sighs> I'm trying to fix that. I'll fix it eventually, I promise. But right now you just gotta look at little rings floating around in there. Anyway, onto the decks. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and look at our two decks. Our first deck is going to be the ASAP Rocky Edition um, Orbits, which I got to say, this one is probably going to win for artwork, uh, <laughs> just because that's like the most artistic deck I've ever seen. But I just want this is just like a, a pilot episode to the series. Uh, I'll try and make things a little more evenly matched next time. Um, and number two is the Glyph deck by Paperwave. I really like this minimalist design. Um, so I think we're going to start with the orbits and grade them, um, grade all three, and then move on to the glyph. Okay, so category number one, the artwork um, for the tuck box. So obviously, this is just amazing. If you guys haven't um, picked up one of these, I would suggest it. The, it's just astounding artwork. Um, Aesop Rock Edition on the side, featuring a very cool... Um, orbit logo there with the moon in the background just a great job 23 asap rock edition and then um a few little details there for where it was made and who made it and things of that sort and then the bottom has their logo on it which is replaced with like a skeleton head which is cool okay so for that i'm gonna give them i think for artwork on the tuck they definitely get a five out of five Okay, so I changed my mind. We're just gonna we're gonna do each category um, together with each deck. Okay, so coming in here is the glyph deck. Okay, so this deck was uh, released by Paperwave um, a couple maybe like a year or two ago. I'm not sure. This deck might actually be more recent than that. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's not super old. Anyway, it's got a really cool minimalist design um, with just these different shapes and everything contrasting with the black and white. I really really like it. The inside of the tuck has little. Uh, star there and then the actual inside of the tech is blank let's go ahead and close that up um, obviously I've used these a little bit more but the decks are still both pretty new um, so yeah the artwork on this one is good but I think I'm gonna have to give this one for artwork probably a four out of five just because um, it's not as good as the orbits anyway moving on also this one also has a little slogan in there be not afraid and then a lot of really cool stuff on the inside so there's bonus points for that okay so now let's take a look at the cards here let me just take all the ad stuff out okay so overall back design of the cards same thing on the tuck very very cool very detailed looking sweet um the pips i believe are slightly customized yeah, they look, yeah, they're slightly customized. And then court cards, there's the ace of spades right there. Be not afraid, very cool. Um, and then the courts, this is what the courts look like. Very cool, very customized in a sense. Um, yeah, I really like this deck actually. Okay, there we go. So that's kind of like a brief overview of what the courts look like. I'm gonna have to give this one Let's go four out of five, bringing it to nine points total. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the glyph. So here, all the cards are actually completely different, which is really, really sweet. So every back of the cards are all completely unique. None are the same, which is great for different flourishes and moves. So that's really cool. The only thing this lacks in is the back design. It's pretty much just like a color swap, the pips, uh, really aren't unique anything that I can see um, besides just color swapping. I don't really see much customization There might be a little bit here and there um, Definitely there 
Um, but overall, they didn't really try super hard to customize this deck a whole lot because this deck is made for cardistry, but you can also argue that this deck is made for cardistry. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one, I think a three out of five, y'all. A three out of five, bringing its points up to seven. All right, let's go to the last segment. All right, now moving on to the handling, the last segment. Orbit is leading with nine, Glyph has seven. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to do three different cards removes to determine um, to determine their quality, basically. One, I'm going to do a packet cut of my choosing. Two, I'm going to do a force move, so under pressure, spring, what have you. And three, I think I'm gonna go with the riffle fan just because that's always a good tell of how well the cards handle. If you can do a good clean riffle fan with it, um, then they should be all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so starting off with a packet cut, we're just gonna go with a nice little cut here. Um, the deck is pretty new still, so cuts are a little hard, just a little. Okay, so there's that. Let's move on to our pressure move. Pressure move's pretty nice, do one more. Okay, and now Riffle Fan. So the deck is still pretty slippery, so the Riffle Fan isn't great. Um, but you know, these handle pretty well. I'm sure they'll break in. I just haven't used them a whole lot. Um, so overall, I will give them, I'll give them a four out of five, uh, leaving them with 13 points. All right, moving on to Glyph. So let's go ahead and get a, the same packet cuts we did. Packet cuts are already so much easier because this deck is a little more broken in. Yeah, packet cuts are definitely easier. Okay, pressure move, pretty good. To a spring. Pretty good. Moment of truth, Riffle Fan. And that is a pretty darn good Riffle Fan if I've ever seen one. Let's give that one more try. Yeah, pretty sweet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to give these a five just because they handle pretty great. Granted, these are more broken in. Okay, so that leaves us at Glyph with 12 and Orbit at 13 points. Okay, so as you just saw, Orbit, um, the ASAP Rocky Edition, beat out the Glyph playing cards by Paper Wave by just one point. Glyph had 13, or Glyph had 12, excuse me. Orbit had 13. So that gives you kind of, guys, uh, a general idea of how I'm gonna do the series. I'm gonna grade them off of three different specifications, and then we'll go with who wins off of that. Uh, that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I would like to know if you guys like to see more. If you didn't like it, if you liked it, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, if you want me to do another deck battle with two decks of your choosing, I'm all down for it. Um, and you know, if you do like a knock versus a knock or something, you might have to change up the the specifications to make it a little more even. Uh, but anyways, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I have more videos to come and I can't wait to see you on the next one. I'm the Wooden Cardis. Peace out.